As a local girl from Manchester, I joined the Royal Navy in uh, January 1990 as a writer. It was something I'd always wanted to do. Um, I really enjoyed the training, what have you, and I really took to the sport inside of the Royal Navy as well. So my immediate thing was to get involved in sports. Unfortunately, um, during my time in the Navy, I sustained a couple of minor injuries, but in 1998, I sustained a serious injury to my right knee playing football for the Royal Navy team, uh, which involved uh, my cruciate ligament actually requiring reconstruction at Hasler Hospital. Stay. Following the reconstruction, Stay. I I experienced quite a deterioration in my knee. I was never allowed, I was never able to play football and what have you again. Um, luckily, I was still able to play a lot of sports for the Navy. And in 2006, I was actually I received a post into Baghdad in Iraq. Uh, my, my knee still wasn't really 100%. And whilst in Iraq, I was in an unfortunate situation where the helicopter I was in was actually shot down out of the sky with small arms fire. The way it landed actually jarred my knee, which again sustained further injury to this right knee. Um, unfortunately, it just kept popping out and uh, eventually it's, it's, it just came to a medical board of survey. During that time, I was aware of um, uh, charities like the Royal Navy Benevolent Trust, SAFA, and I knew the really good job that they'd done just from speaking to people in the Navy, really. But I never thought I'd actually need to speak to them or go to them for any you know, like wheelchairs and everything. I never thought it would come to this. But since leaving the Navy, again, my knee has de deteriorated. I left the Navy in May 2008, and to the point where I've actually required a knee replacement. Unfortunately, due to the way I heal, uh, the surgeons were fantastic. I've had a, a revision knee replacement because the first one didn't work. The revision knee replacement has not worked and unfortunately it's now leading to me requiring an amputation above the knee. Because of this, I know I wasn't able to afford things like wheelchairs because it's quite expensive pieces of equipment. So I actually turned to SAFA um, because I knew they were a very good charity. Again, this is another charity I'd um, learnt about whilst in the Navy. I was given a caseworker from SAFA and the caseworker then advised me that they would do everything they could and do absolutely fantastic, made me feel really welcome. I didn't feel like I was actually asking for charity, I just felt like I was actually getting help, which I really wasn't aware of the exact help that I could get when I left the service. It was absolutely fantastic and heartwarming. They actually put me in touch then with the Royal Navy Benevolent Trust. Again, I didn't really know that they worked hand in hand, but they do, they work very closely, and again with the British Legion, which I've been made aware of recently and also Blesma, but the Royal Navy Benevolent Trust really come up trumps for me and they've got me a really nice wheelchair which now I've got three dogs which are actually my life and I'm able to go out because I'm on crutches at the moment awaiting my amputation but because of my wheelchair I'm actually able to go into the forest and I can push my way through the mud so it's absolutely fantastic, it's changed my life considerably and I know that the RMBT, SAFA and charities like those will always be there for me.